as well I don't have a flu. Although today I'll tell you that I speak about badadas. It is simply another way of calling sweet potatoes, known also as American potato, which is what we're talking about today. Welcome back to the channel, my name is Pasquale and I'm your nutritional lifestyle coach. Today we continue with the videos dedicated to food and as you saw in my introduction uh, well, while I was uh, behaving like an idiot, we speak about sweet potatoes. I honestly have to say when I was living in Italy I didn't see them very often and I didn't consume sweet potatoes at all. I started using them since I moved here in Ireland in Thomastown. I have to say I like it very much and I know people don't like it very much sometimes because they are sweet but there are different varieties and not all of them are very sweet. At the end of the video, as usual, I will give some advices on how to prepare it in some simple and quick recipes. But first we move on to talk about the nutritional profile and then we start to cook it, okay? Alright, let's start. As I mentioned in the introduction of this video, I don't have a cold at all. The batatas, also American potato, is a tuberous root. It is erroneously considered tuber, like the simple potato, but as I said before, is a root. The American potato is called a sweet potato for the sweetish flavor, which is conferred by the amount of simple sugars or simple carbohydrate with a, which are contained. First of all, we identify the plant. Well, Mrs. Patata, show me your passport. I see you're American. Hmm. Well, the sweet potato does not belong to the same family of potatoes as many might think but to the family of the Convolinaceae, although the botanical order is the Solanaceae, which is the same as tomatoes, peppers and just normal potatoes. Just like in normal potatoes, its composition is mainly made from carbohydrates and it has a lot of dietary fiber and a particularly important amount of vitamins and minerals, which we see in a bit more details later. In some regions of the world it is a basic foundation of the nutrition in the support of diet as a basis of carbohydrates. In other areas like China, it is predominantly used for feeding animals in farms. Now let's analyze in detail the nutritional values of batatas. Before analyzing, I want to dwell on the fact that unlike the normal potatoes, given its sweetish flavor, you can also eat it raw without having the feeling of eating a stone taken from the river. Well, what happens when you try to eat normal raw potatoes? Let's analyze it, considering 100 grams of raw potato then. Some vitamins, as you know, are the natural curing cookings. 100 grams of raw American potato, including the zest, provide approximately 83 kilocalories. They contain a very small source of proteins, about 1.2 grams, and a very few fats. Basically, only polyunsaturated, that makes about 0.1 grams. Obviously, they are very rich in carbohydrates. On 100 gram of edible part, the sweet potato contains almost 20 grams. Used raw, they supply a lot of water, about 74 grams, and also a little more of 2 grams of dietary fiber. As you can see from the graphs that I'm showing you, in terms of minerals, we do not have an enormous source of particular interest, but the sweet potato supplies discrete quantities of several minerals. To mention are definitely the amount of potassium and phosphorus, which are present in about one-tenth of the recommended daily quantities, as well as iron, which is present in a fair bit amount. Now let's go to vitamins. As you can see, there are two vitamins in particular that meet the eye. First of all, vitamin A. With 100 grams of sweet potatoes, you have basically the whole daily recommended quantity with 655 micrograms contained. Then is vitamin C, which is present, present with about 23 milligrams. If you look at my previous video about vitamin C, you know that a safety threshold is about 10 milligrams to avoid scurvy. So this is a good way to eat your carbs and meet the minimum requirement of vitamin C. We also have discrete sources of vitamin B group, thiamine, the so-called vitamin B1, pathotaic acid, the vitamin B5, and then vitamin B6 and vitamin B9. Of vitamin B1, you have basically and practically almost the minimum recommended requirements. As I said before, we cook in some vitamins at the natural. As you well know, vitamin C is the first one to take their turn ticket back to America. But in any case, I eat it almost every time cooked because I like it so. As I always tell you, proper nutrition must be also embrace our taste. A tip is to eat it with all the zest, as it should be done with also the normal potatoes, because you will use all the available dietary fiber, lowering the possibility to having glycemic peaks. Well, now to prepare something to eat with these blessed American potatoes, because talking about it made me hungry and it's almost lunchtime here. The the first thing I suggest to you is the unhealthy recipe, so I feel good with my conscience after. Well, as an alternative to potatoes, you can use it as fries, either as so-called french fries, or chips or crisps. 
I show you in the photos here, I love it. Who doesn't love fried potatoes, even if they are sweet potatoes? Another way to prepare them is the using them instead of bread to prepare a tasty bruschetta or bruschetta as we say in Italian. How do we do it? Prepare the mix of spices, I usually use thyme and oregano and emulsify together with a bit of ver extra virgin olive oil and a black pepper. Brush the potatoes that you have previously cut into slices about half a centimeter thick. Then put in the preheated oven at 200 degrees Celsius or 390 Fahrenheit for about 20 minutes. Once bake it, dress it as you wish. You can make them with cherry tomatoes, garlic and basil, or basil for example, but I adore them with a slice of cheese that contrasts with the sweet taste. You can use fresh pecorino, or camembert or brie with a bit of mixed nuts crumble on top. I always recommend to accompany them with a nice mixed salad. Or an alternative would be to use it to prepare an alternative way the jacket potatoes. Preheat the oven at 200 degrees or 319 Fahrenheit. In the meantime, wash a sweet potatoes very well. Piece it to your side with a fork and make sure you do it more or less on the whole potato. With big potatoes, you will need about 40 minutes cooking time. From time to time, you can control the cooking by, uh, by piercing them with a fork. If it is soft all the way through, then they're ready. Without burning yourself, cut them in half and you can put everything on it. A very good version that I saw it that I saw once was topped with chili con carne, the famous Tex-Mex dish. If you want something simple, well, a bit of touch of melted butter, rosemary and black pepper and you will enjoy it too. Another way is to make them like the classic baked potato. Cut it into big chunks, I usually bake them with extra virgin olive oil, lead paprika, no chili, I only eat no chili, I'm very strange Calabrian guy, a little bit of cumin and then back in the oven. In the baking tray I also put a couple of whole garlic cloves at about 200 degrees or 390 Fahrenheit for about 20 minutes. Well I hope that I tempted you to try the sweet potatoes. I sincerely adore them and I often use to replace the normal potatoes because they have a lower glycemic index than normally the normal potatoes and then because I can eat something sweet. I eat very few sweets and I don't use sugar, so if you like me, you will appreciate it. I remind you that all my videos are also published as podcasts, so just audio, in case you don't want or you don't have time to watch videos, you can just listen to the podcast while doing other things, for example. Podcasts can be found on iTunes, Spreakers and Spotify and you just try and search for Pasquale Riganello. I remind you that I also am on the social networks like Facebook and Instagram and recently on Twitter too and then on YouTube where I only publish exclusively my video. If you are very curious about who I am and what I do, well, you can visit my website www.healthmefood.com. Well, I'll let you go for today, I'll just remind you to eat well, live well and smile and see you next time. Ciao!